Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie Marie, or welcome to my channel. Yeah, that too. All right, so I felt all arts and crafty this past weekend, so I decided to go to Michael's as well as the dollar store and pick up some stuff. So as you guys can see, my room is super bare for the most part, and I wanted to pimp that up in an economical way and just do some arts and crafts. So first thing I kind of bought was canvases. I bought this 10 pack from Michael's. I really like them because I could also use them to make gifts for people in addition to hanging them on the wall. I actually bought two sizes. I also bought, bought one that was about 12 by 8, 10 inches, I believe. I bought those and I was thinking of doing maybe like a panel display. Three separate canvases, but they all have kind of the same picture. But I don't know, Pinterest will be my friend on this whole exhibition. So then I bought paint. What the value pack of paint because paint goes a long way. This is by Craft Smart, and I love the selection of colors. This is acrylic paint, by the way, and I just thought it had a really beautiful selection. So I pretty much loved every single color that was in here, so I decided to buy it. From that same brand, I also brought some neon colors, and I really love neon colors because I just love how they look on a black background focus for me yes black background so I was just thinking of using that for something you know what I should have gotten I should have also gotten some glow-in-the-dark paint I thought that would be really 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 cool then I got this thing called Mod Podge and that's kind of like a glue glossy thing that goes over paintings and you can also use it to do other types of arts types of arts and crafts as well then I got some 99 cent brushes because this probably wasn't that good idea for you real painters out there, but this is my first time and I wasn't into crazy investing. Sewing is my passion, as you can see over there, my little sewing machine. You probably didn't notice it because you were focused on me. <laughs> but I don't know, it's my first time, so I'm kind of just experimenting, seeing what's good, and if life doesn't work out, then we'll try again. It's all about experimenting, right? And then I got a whole bunch of really cute journals. I, I absolutely love every single one of them. So this was a journal. It's by Betsy Johnson. I think I got a few things from this brand, actually. And I like the fact that it had this, this closure part because I hate when journals, they like fall apart in your bag and stuff gets on on the pages, gets crushed and ugh, crushed, ugh, crushed and whatnot. So I like the fact that it had, um, that and then I like the fact that it has this what is this called this book marker and it's pretty long so it loops over quite well starting from the bottom and then it has a really pretty design the next one that I bought was this bamboo journal which is more of a dupe because you can you can see that it's really just right here it's cardboard and they kind of did a design over it especially from the edges I can really tell and another thing I liked about all these journals, they were, had, they were really good quality. Because you know when you buy 99 cent journals, the pages are usually like thin and off-white and they're just gross and I hate them. And then, yes. Then I have this journal right here which has this pretty like lace color thing and then it has this sheet over it. You can't take it off or anything but I thought that was a really cool effect and it's just held together by some rings pretty basic design in the front. And I think what I'll probably use some of these journals for, well, gifts. One of them I'm going to give away. I'll show you that one in a second. It's one of my favorite ones as well. But also, maybe using one for my, um, with my prayer partner, just to record our progress and our successes and what God has done for us. It is nice to kind of go back with each other and talk about things, but actually having it written, sometimes you forget certain things. Unfortunately, as humans, we do forget. So I thought that would just be a really cool idea. And then now my giveaway journal. This one right here. It's a really, really, really pretty pink. And I really like this design. I like to get clothes like this. And then it says dreamer. So you can write whatever you want in here. And kind of looks the same as the other ones. I had took it out the package and I don't want to again because I'm not trying to tamper with your gift. So to enter, just like, comment,
comment and subscribe and you can also tweet me for an additional entry my name is KD Marie on pretty much all all my social platforms actually but I really check Twitter so tweet comment tweet or comment or you can do both this cardboard right here it's actually a phone board and I decided to make those I decided I wanted to make those letters that those block letters that you see hung up on walls but then I have to worry about getting nails to hang them up and that would just be too much whereas I could probably make my own which would be a lot cheaper and they would be better able to stick on the wall so that's a project that I'll be doing if it works out I'll show you guys how I did it if it doesn't then yeah <laughs> And then the next thing I got was these fabric paints. So I saw on Pinterest how you make texting gloves and it was using fabric paint. You, that's definitely a project you guys will be seeing in the future and yeah, tune in for that. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.